Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial and today I am going to show you how to make this kind of rolling text animation in Adobe After Effects. So let's first start the video. First let's create a new composition. I am going with 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and 13 frame rate per second. Let's rename it to main. Then hit OK. Now let's create a, another composition and rename it text. Hit OK. Now let's create a new text layer. From here, type in text. I'm going to use Roboto font. You can use any kind of font here. So here is my text. Let's align it to the center. Now select the text and go to region of interest, click here and select this text area. Now go to composition then crop comp to the region area, fit it the 100%. Now go to the main and drag the text composition to the timeline. Now select the text and we need to duplicate this text around uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 times we need to copy this as I have 8 letter here. So select the text and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now select the last text, select the rectangle tool and create a mask around the letter G and we need to separate all of this letter by creating the mask. So now select the next text and create another mask to the R. And follow the steps. Now select all of this, close, then select the last layer, then go to effect and preset and search for offset, apply it, select this. Then go to around 4 second, create a keyframe and copy this effect and paste it all of this text layers. Now here you can see that I have applied this effect to all of these layers. Now back to the first frame, select this, press U, then change this amount around minus 1 height 0 0. Select this and copy back to here and paste it. Do this the same thing to all of these layers. Now select the rest of the text layers and type here 1500 and copy this and paste to the another text layers. Now you'll find something like this kind of animation. Now select all of these keyframes, right click on your mouse and make them easy ease. Now go to speed edit speed graph and change it something like this. Now our animation will look like this. Now go to layer, create a new adjustment layer and then go to effect and preset and search for CC force motion blur, apply it and let's change its setting. Shutter angle 120 and motion bar 
ഫോർട്ടി Let's close it for this time and let's apply another effect here. Go to effect preset and search for transform. Apply it. Now go to around 4 seconds and create a keyframe to the scale back to the first frame and change its scale something like this. Now press U to open the keyframes. Make them as is. Go to graph editor and change this graph something like this. Okay. Now our animation is almost complete. Just we need to do something in the project so let's create on the new project composition and change its duration to six second then hit ok now let's create a new solid and rename it pg for background and we need to change its background color so i'm going to use something like this kind of color if you want you can use any kind of color here Now let's drag the main composition above the PG layer. So here you can see that our animation is almost complete and just we need to render it to see the final video. So add it to the render queue, go to lossless and change your video format. If you have audio, turn it on. If you don't have, then turn this off. Hit OK. Select your output folder. Give a name. then save it after that you just need to click on the render to start this render so this is the animation for today hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe like and share this video thank you so much